and the New York Department of Education will receive $857,000 from the city to fund additional Title IX coordinators for the 2020 fiscal year. This comes after an April court hearing where the Department of Education was asked to hire additional coordinators. Title IX is a federal civil rights law that protects students against sex-based discrimination. New York City currently has only one temporary Title IX coordinator for approximately 1.1 million students. The new budget will allow for seven new coordinators, at least one for each of the city's five boroughs. Brittany Brat Brathwaite is the organizing and innovation manager for Girls for Gender Equity, the nonprofit that spearheaded the School Girls Deserve campaign. Also here is Yasmin Abdullah, a recent high school graduate who helped lead the campaign. Brittany and Yasmin, thanks to both of you for being with us, and congratulations on your success getting these new Title IX coordinators to Ooh, be put in place. They haven't been hired yet, but presumably <laughs> they will be soon, right? Yes. Thank you. Brittany, if you would, please explain exactly what Title IX mandates and why you were inspired to lead this campaign. Absolutely. Title IX is a federal policy that is really put in place for gender equity in schools. And so Title IX was passed in 1972 as a part of a larger bill's bill of education like package. And so Title IX, people are most familiar with Title IX when it comes to sports. And so that if there's a boys basketball team, there should also be a girls basketball team. But what people don't know is Title IX is a lot bigger than that. Title IX covers and protects students against sexual harassment and sexual assault. It has protections for pregnant and parenting young people. It also has protections for STEM, and so that girls could also have an equal chance at studying science, technology, engineering, and math. And so Title IX is a really important uh, piece of legislation that we have to create gender equity. And does Title IX mandate that there need to be a certain number of coordinators per student? Yes, yeah, so there, Title IX ma mandates that there should be a number, a certain number of uh, Title IX coordinators per district. Okay. And so in New York City, we are one large district with 1.1 million students. Ah. And so we found that one was not adequate for that role. Right. And so what do the coordinators do? They are essentially a, someone to go to if a student has a complaint or has noticed there is some discrimination? Yeah. So the role differs based on like the Title IX coordinator in the school district. But really, the Title IX coordinator is a person that you report any type of harassment or discrimination based on gender. They're also a person who puts prevention in place. Oh, so they okay. look at the policies of a school to make an environment more uh, cultural, like it's a better culture. School culture and school climate is what the Title IX coordinator does. So, Yasmin, public school students joined this movement and were a very, very important part of the movement. What personally inspired you to get involved? What personally inspires me is seeing my peers go through, you know, sexual assault, sexual harassment, nobody being able to do anything about it. You had friends who were sexually assaulted in school? Just seeing it, like, seeing with it. my own eyes, yes. Wow, you actually visually yes. saw your friends or your classmates mm -hmm. get sexually assaulted and, and they have can, no place to go. Yes, yeah, so they can tell adults, or they could be referred to different levels of people, but there's never going to reach that one person that's really going to handle the situation. So I really needed to join this work so that my own peers and the people that I see every day that I can see are going through different things have somebody that they can go to for help. So it's it's true that female students had no place to report sexual assaults in schools, Brittany? Yeah, so there is uh, there were people in those in those roles, right? Principals, teachers. Um, and so it's not to say that there was nobody there, but we know that just like we all have roles and jobs, there are people that have the adequate training and are responsible for actually handling those matters. And so they're equipped to handle gender equity, sexual harassment, sexual assault. And so it's not that students didn't have any one and in some schools that is true so students didn't know who to report to we did research and found that 98 percent of students did not report sexual harassment because they didn't know how to go about reporting it so the next step now that there is the funding and now that presumably they will be hired for the next school year these seven new title nine coordinators part of what goes along with your mu movement then is educating the students and letting them know that these people are here to help them mm -hmm. is that part of it absolutely and girls for gender equity has been doing that for almost two decades you have yes. good for you yes. good for you. How do you do that? You send, you send flyers to the schools? You, you go and speak to schools personally? What do you do for your outreach? 
We hold workshops. Um, we speak at a lot of open forums where young people are at. Yasmin has actually spoken to a lot of young people yes. about sexual harassment in Title IX. And Yasmin, did you speak during the hearings? Did you have a speech? I, I saw that there were a lot of students who got up mm -hmm. and, and gave testimony. Yeah, I personally wasn't able to testify mm -hmm. at the hearing, but some of the other girls from Girls for Gender Equity were able to testify. Well, congratulations on mobilizing and really making this kind of change. Do we have any idea exactly when these new coordinators will start? Will it be in the fall of the next school year? Our hope is that they will start in the fall of the next school year. We know that there's a lot of things that have to be put in place in order for these positions to be the full breadth and depth of what they're meant to do. But we hope that come September that yes. all students will have a Title IX coordinator in their borough. Brittany and Yasmin, thanks to both of you, and congratulations again for getting it done. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for being with us.